Thank you, sir. All right, so now let's go through the next step, which would be uh, regular announcements. Uh, Rush, you want to take care of this? I just seen you pop in here. Oh, yeah, already unmuted my mic. <laughs> All right, uh, it's GGI Townhouse, Monday through Friday, 11.15 a.m. This is where we announce any important information you know, that is beneficial for you to know, uh, whether it's outside of school or going on around the school. Uh, so please, please encourage your peers to participate and attend. Um, it's very, very important that you guys show up to GGI and Townhouse. Uh oh, okay. Raspberry Pockets. Uh, if you do not have one, please let us know so we can get you one. Uh, if you do have one that's having issues, speak up. Let us know so we can. Uh, well, so Mr. Tyler can try to troubleshoot the kit for you. Uh, if he cannot troubleshoot it, uh, we will gladly swap it out for you for one that does work, uh, brand new one. So please, uh, this is very important that you have a Raspberry Pi kit uh, so that you can, um, you know, complete your assignments that will be given to you by Mr. Tyler. Okay, Rush, who would you like to read this one? Uh, you you can uh, you can read it, uh, David. Every Wednesday and Thursday. Every Wednesday and Thursday, learn the code from the convenience of, of your home and get extra credit for so many classes. The pandemic affects the code and job market. Or I learned the code. The surprisingly more benefits of coding. Interested? Join by clicking the link at 4 p.m. Let's go. Good. Good job, Dave. All right, so the next slide, Jalen, it's all you. Oh, my God, that's going to go for convenience of the home. No, 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 the next one. The next one after this is about to come up. There you go. There it says to be able to complete all information, SB. Um, hello, all space seems to work in class. Inside of the SB, you can ask all our pre-recorded videos of each class. You got worried. Rules are nine grade to you by four pound daily. All right, good job. Makia will be reading the next one. See how we spreading the point, y'all? We spreading the love. Okay, so uh, Rush, did you choose your next slide? Or... Yeah, okay. yeah, I, I said Makia going to read the next one. Okay. Wow, it ain't, it ain't low yet. You calling me? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, as soon as the next slide come up. Second. Did she read or what happened? This is the slide. Okay, well, we'll go to the next slide. All right, here you go. Should be coming up. Let me get 
can we can talk through all this because I think we're just busy. <laughs> Okay, so next student to read because I don't hear anything. Oh, you know what? I was on mute the whole time. I'm saying oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm saying calling on the student like. <laughs> yeah, nobody heard you, fam. So. Uh, uh, go ahead, Carmelo. I'm sorry. Dang, that's crazy. MIT, MIT Scratch and Microsoft Make Coding Project are required daily. Most projects are possible to complete on a cell phone. However, functionality will be limited and actual person compute personal computer is required to take full advantage of the course computer science is a is a graduation requirement from the state of, of illinois for the and the board of education for questions or concerns email me at micro.tv at sessionschool.com or reach out to me on SB. Good job, good job. Uh, Ms. Tyler, I, saw, I see that's why you be saying can't wait to get in the building, but it's technical, this technology. <laughs> technical yeah, stuff, man. It's, it's everybody. Everybody likes being at home, but you can't get no work done at home. It's just a fact. So uh -huh. being in the building, you get better. Uh, so you choose who's next, Rush. Next, All right, next. So, so this one is for Makia. Makia. Makia, you here? Uh, you want me to read this? Yeah, so you can get your points real quick. Students will be able to utilize the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide to be able to successfully demonstrate project number two, synchronized swimmer well, via the Raspberry Pi project kit. Classroom term of the day is synchronization, wherever the day is. Antagonize. Yep, there you go. Good job. Hey Tyler, did you get that email? What email? I I, I think I sent it right, but uh, it's the, it's a picture of the the slide you was asking me for. So maybe the next class we can have it on that slide. Okay, I just sent it this morning. Or? Oh yeah, I sent it uh maybe four minutes ago. Okay, okay, no, well I'll add it. Just remind me next before next period. All right, so um, good morning everybody. We're gonna go through uh Thursday's assignment, um. I'm going to try to do most of the work from Angel's screen because he's locked himself out of Google Meet and I got to figure out how to help him reset his password. So let me uh, pull this up and um, just for a second, Angel, uh, what you hear, is this, you're logged in at NSB, so you can follow along with us without being in the classroom yet, Angel. So um, what I want you to do, Angel, is go to I, my mouse. I took my hands off the mouse. I want you to show us how to get to uh, your first period and then go to today's assignment. Okay, everybody see what he's doing. The top of the list, you'll see project two, synchronized swimming. All right, inside, oh, Angel, I want you to read all of that for points. And I'm also be putting in the chat for those of you who just might want it easier because when I put in the chat, you get the links. So, Angel, I want you to read that. Um, come up to uh, my computer because you're not synchronized yet, right? So, yeah, come on up here. You're not in the classroom yet because you don't remember your, your Google. I'm sharing because I'm connected to your kit. Keep explaining that to you. <laughs> so, go ahead and read the screen for me. The microphone's right in this area. Easy. Yeah, we'll start from the top. Hello, all computer scientists. We'll be, we'll be, I mean, we'll, we'll I mean, yeah. I can't say we'll, right? So, we'll, we will, we'll. we will begin my locating page 7686, 7686 to ideal, ideally, ideally, demonstrate, demonstrate all seven. Simons of the pay projects number two, number two synchronized synchronized swimming. I mean, you guys uh, stop, stop doing it. Just read, read, review, review page seventy six eighty six. The official Raspberry Pi beginner journal book. 
Guy for book. I mean, guy book. Mm -hmm. For I mean, <laughs> focus. Sorry, bro. I'm it's all right. Just focus. Read. For all understanders and execution. execution of all steps with In this online link. Mm -hmm. Alternative. Alternative. Don't link. read the link. You know. We will decide. Discuss. Let me discuss uh, the assignment future in, further. and further. In class. The exit slip, do I gotta read that? Template. Too? Do I gotta read that? Not the link, just one time. Uh, the exit slip template is, is. Jump down to you. Scroll down. Yep, yep. You will need to dis discuss. discuss with why you choose. Chose. Chose certain, certain roles. So you. So you will need to start by reviewing and understanding, understanding each, I mean, what each role requires, requires. requires. Using those links? Use, those not links, just read that. Oh. Use. Use Google. computer. Oh, where? How was Use. I Oh, you Google. Google to look up and define this role. You gotta read it. Come on. <laughs> computer. <laughs> or. What? The slash means or. So computer or. Uh, computer or. Electrical. Electrical engineering. Divine. Divine. Mm -hmm. uh, collaborator. Collaborator. Or. Or. Secretary. Or secretary defined. Demonstrator. Demonstrator. Speaker or, defined. Or the speaker defined. Mm -hmm. You almost finished. Come on. Score down. If you don't have to. That's it. Uh, define such roles when in at the button of your exit slip. I mean, of your exit slip. Is that right, right? Take, mm -hmm. take care out there, Zen. Good to see you. Good job. Was it that hard to read now? Sheesh. No, oh, my God. We got to get you over that. All right, everybody. So, again, I'll put it in the chat. I want everybody to click on those links there so you'll know exactly what you have to do. Angel just read it for us. So let's scroll up here. Give me a second, Angel. You uh, move out of your way. All right, you got it back, Angel. I'll come back and check on you in one moment. Uh, again, this information is inside of ESBY, everybody. And the link should all already be available to you. Let's go to uh, computer science real quick. So here we are. We're on the kits. Like we said, we're always going to be on. Angel's on one of them. And if you are on the kit, you can do this with me. So you two gentlemen, you can just turn your laptop so you can see what I'm talking about and respond. But the kits are ready for you to use, too, so you can get some of this work done. So y'all can just switch over to a seat. And uh, the book is next to you, so you can try to follow along with the assignment today. I'm in the building with you, so you get a maximum help. We're now online all the way here, so those of you who are not in the building, I want to make your every attention to get in the building in case you really think you need to help. Can't help you if uh, it's hard to help you online as opposed to being in person. All right, so that's the first part of it. It was read by Angel. Here's the second part. Well, There's actually three parts to it, but let me put as much as I can in the chat for you. The exit slip template, I want to focus on that before you get too far along. You have to turn that in, and that's in the chat as well. You just click on that link and download it. You got a question? Okay. Okay, grab this last part. And everybody should be focusing on doing this on your kit. Have your kit powered up. Have your book nearby. It is better to read through the steps in the book than it is to go online to the website that's provided. Your exit slip is right here. And I put that in the chat as well. You go over here. Let me do this on his kit so I can keep up with what Mr. Ocasio is doing. There's another reason I wanted you guys to use the kits, especially in my classroom, because I'm able to log in at all computers and see what you're doing at any time. Um, so, hey, how are you doing? Okay. Oh. I just heard you All right, my brother. All right. So, <laughs> it's the life of the party is into the building. Uh, so everybody, click on this link. Tackle this exit slip right now, so you don't have to worry about it later. Uh, I would do this on your uh, kit and make sure you log on the kit like Angel has done. Into we put Angel's screen up here, right? Angel's on point, so I need everybody to be where he is. He's on his kit right now. And I'm going to help him, and I hope this is helping you finish this assignment today, okay? So let's go through it together. You should be at the same point as Angel. Uh, Angel, can you click back to the, um, 
there. What happened? Hmm? No, you click on um, the synchronized swim link. We're just going to talk about it a little bit, but I want you to use your book. Now, the book, you have one, a book back there, Angel? Okay, everybody got a book, right? Jalen, you got a book? Mykia, I'm checking on you, but I'm pretty sure you got a book. <laughs> she might be done with the assignment already. Mykia, you there? She was like, you moving too, too slow for me, Tyler. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the book that I was talking about you need for today, right? Everybody should be turning to what pages? Well, Angel already read that. Pages 76. Thank you. Who's that, Angel? Good job. So turn your pages to that right now. Uh-oh, Jalen left. And you'll notice on page 76, come on to 76, we have synchronized swimming. So I'm going to need to try to get some points on the board. I was going to call on Jalen to help him out. But now I got to have, uh, let's see here, David hasn't read in a while. So Dave, you got a book near you? Are you on page 76? Oh. He looked around and he said, oh, <laughs> turn to page 76, Dave. Good Lord. All right. Now you see where it says synchronized swimming? Okay. I want you to read project two, where it says in that orange, all the way over to where it says options on page 77 okay you got it and everybody else should be on this page reading with them because this gives you an idea of how to do this project today you see okay i'm gonna come over to you and show you okay Yes, sir. Right, right, right. All right, you see, very, very. And I hope you guys are paying attention to these block codes. You can do it from here to there. Okay, okay. Hey, you know where you're reading from? What you gonna keep up? Okay, so you see, you want to pay 76? Yeah. 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 All right, go ahead, David, uh, you can turn your mic so the students at home can hear what you're doing. Let me mute myself. So he's going to read that real quick for us. Everybody else should be trying to start their kits and get ready. Go ahead, Dave. Project two. Saint Cruz on swimming. Most games use more than a single button. He's probably seventy six. Yeah, you guys started seventy six. What happened? He is. He's, oh, he's, yeah. He is starting there, man. Synchronized swimming. No, no, no. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> be nice. Project two, synchronized swimming. Most games use more than a single way. And this project demonstrates that by offering two bu two bunch control use arrow left and arrow right key keys on the keyboard. Create a new project and save it as a cyclones. Synchronous Secret? swimming. Click on the stage in the stage control section, then click the back backdrop tab at the top left. Click the convert to bitmap button below the backdrop. Choose the choose a water like blue color from the fill palette. Click on the fill icon, then click on the checkered backdrop to fill out the to fill it with blue. Right click the cat sprite. And the list and click delete. Click the choose a, a sprite icon to see a list of built in sprites. Click click on the animal 
catalog category then cat fly figure 4016 then okay this this spirit sprite, sprite also serves well for a swimming project click the new sprite then drag to when space key press event block to into the code area click the small down arrow next to the word space on the block and to left arrow from the list of possible uh, options. Good. All right. So this is all you have to read. Welcome back, Jalen. Um, okay, so turn on that camera, Jalen, because I got to keep eyeball on you. Make sure you're following us. You got your kid on? Great job, David. Stucky. Yes, sir. All right, turn that camera on, sir, so I can make sure you at your kit and working. Uh, so, everybody, thank you. Wake up, man. You half sleep. Okay. Uh, this is why I want y'all back in the building, because... Uh, and it's essentially when y'all at home, it's harder to stay focused at the work. I'm noticing. So look, I'm gonna give you some time to work on this, but pay attention to the screen. I'm going to have I'm gonna go through with this uh, this project with Angel, and all of you guys should be on your kits because you could do it with us, right? The only thing is, Angel, we're gonna have to figure out your email address so you can email that file to yourself. We're gonna put it in Hansby, but we gotta fix that email so you can get in class. Um, hmm? they hacked them. Who is they? Every time I ask you that question, you don't have an answer. Uh, the people with the black guys and the black hoodies. Is this a video game you're referring to? Is no. someone for your imagination? No. All right. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> let's continue on. You'll see I'm over here uh, VNC the remote controlled into Angel's computer or his pie that he's working at. So let's uh, come here and um, you'll see that this has similar steps, but you know, with the kit, um, I'm sorry, with the website, they go a little too fast for you. So the first thing we want to do is, and I hope you're paying attention, Angel, and everybody, you click on the Raspberry. That's where most of your stuff is. It's like your start button for Windows. You come down to Programming, and you're going to start your Scratch 3 program. It's going to take a little while to load, so you should do this first. So it's, you go. To, did you do the steps I just did on my screen? You go to the pro, uh, Raspberry, right? Programming Scratch 3. Okay. So everybody should be, uh, David, did you start this up? Because you're going to need it. If you don't have it started up, it's just going to be putting you behind because you're going to be loading for a little bit. So, Angel, let me know when the Scratch 3 desktop is fully loaded. You'll know because you'll see everything that is on pretty much page 77. Okay. Scratch team is always looking a bit, oh, they want like some feedback now. Nah, nah, not right now. Okay, so let's get let's get into it. His is all the way loaded. So I will do a few steps. Go ahead. You're with us, like same screen. What about you, Dave? Jalen, same screen. Get scratch three loaded. Wake up, Jalen. I see you're like you're frozen or something. You daydreaming on me? Wake up. He got the, the background all blurred. Did you start Scratch 3, sir? I see something on your TV in the background. I don't know what that is. Because um, he got his background blurred. Um, let's see. So let's go to everybody so you know what to start with. Because sometimes this be confusing, y'all. So first things first, right? We're going to choose our own particular sprite. So I'm going to let Angel do that because he has this presentation screen. So do you remember how to choose your new sprite? First, you got to re remove that cat because we're not using that using your own type of sprite for this whole project all right now do you remember how to choose a new sprite you do you know all this you're moving around so you know how to do some of this stuff everybody see what he's doing all right so everybody has to choose their own unique character or sprite do that right now for me make sure you choose one that moves when you're about to choose it that means it has different costumes so very good angel that's the one you chose did everybody choose their particular character okay you remove the kitten, right? Nobody should still have the kitten. Oh. All right, I'm just checking. 
All right, so everybody should be at the step where um, Angel is. Now we're going to change the backdrop, like they said on page 77 that Angel was reading. So we want to change that to a blue background. So the first thing you want to do, in case you, you didn't catch what he read, is look at him. He's the side blue, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed with you, because you be trying to act like you can't do none of this work. All right, so change it to blue. You can change it to a different color of blue, long as the color's blue. So be unique. Well, you want to change the background, though. You want to you want to choose an automatic background, Angel. So if you don't remember what they did, you see what they said at the top of the page of 77. It says you want to go to the field, right? No, no, you, you're, you're in the paint already. You're just moving around. So you see where it says field up there. It, no, you're moving all around. Right there. Okay. So you see all the different ways you could change it, right? And we're following what is said on page 77 at the top. This is the part he's on, everybody. And then it says click on checkered backdrop, right? So once you do that, you chose your color, right? Now you got to come out of that. You know, you're choosing something else. You're just doing stuff. <laughs> choose what, choose, first choose what you want your color to be. Okay, now... Here's how you do that. Yeah, there you go. And then you want to go to what? Fill, right? I kind of helped you. <laughs> I moved your mouse to where it is. Let's see if you can find it. Yes. Help with what? Uh, this. this is what? So I got to log into your kid too next? <laughs> OK. Are you coloring in the background? Oh, that's just my color. Huh? That's my color. Oh, we'll switch it back. <laughs> this is why I wanted y'all to do it on your kids so you get used to it. So let me uh, try to log into Carmelo's. I think he is VNC1. So I'm going to come over here. Let's see what he's stuck on. It looks like Angel knows what he's got to do. So if I come over to 1119, that should be Mr. Carmelo. And... This is what he's doing. He's he's got some weird stuff going on, eh? All right. So in my classroom, I have the ability to check on your screens from my desk, and uh, this is what he's doing. You're doing it the hard way, Phil. I was talking about the bucket, Phil. So you're doing the paintbrush. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You're getting it done faster, eh? Oh. Yeah. You got to figure out how to do it. So look. I want you guys to practice doing this because you have to make the whole screen a, a certain color. So once you do that, and no, you cannot choose an automatic background. This is in case you guys got to draw your own backgrounds, remember? It has to be your own unique project. All right, so we can't take too much time on that. Let's move to page 78. So if you got it colored, you should have it like, that's fine enough, uh, Carmelo. We'll come back to it. Go back to uh, scroll to the top and here and go to code. We help you out. And uh, let's see, Angel, are you on the same page? Angel's still over here messing with colors. All right, we'll come back to it, Angel. <laughs> it's okay. I know you got a little lost in the sauce. So again, you click on the fill button. Excuse me. And what we want to do is, where is that? He, he didn't choose a color yet. So first I got to go up here to fill. And you got this line selected, but you got two types. So. You can no, choose. Well, the one talking about the line. Can you? What are you talking about? Come on, we need to go. Click the fill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How can I get to use that one? I just did it. I just did it. <laughs> okay, but look, we're not going to focus on the colors. You guys can practice that later. I just wanted to show you where it is. Now, uh, sake of time, I got to take you to some of the block coding. Now, let's come up here. At the very top, you have backdrops where you paint your backdrop. And to make things easier on you, um, if you guys can't get it, then you can just choose a different backdrop here, okay? But I really want you to try to get the whole screen printed out the way the book tells you. All right, so on page 78, there is blocks that we use. Make sure on your code screen, all right? So let's see if we can figure out what to do. I'm going to open up uh, David's, like he's not doing anything. <laughs> let's see if we can get him started. 
So David is uh, VNC3. Okay, and that's going to be uh, 248. That's what it was. I know my technology. All right. So this is David. David, you need to start the program, man. See what I'm talking about? Come on, bruv. Being lazy. All right, so get going. You get, that's what you supposed to been did. You right just what? You're doing back there. Oh, I'm over there? Oh, I'm on the wrong kit. My bad. It's just two. It's just two. It's two? Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies, Dave. My apologies. All right. Yeah, well, you know, I'm jumping around. It's kind of like the matrix operator. Uh, so 135 is Dave with David. <laughs> Did I say that wrong? That's the correct way to say it, right? Or no? Yeah, yeah. thought. All right. So let's see if we can get in Dave's. And uh, for the looks of it, this is what David has. He's there. So look, Dave, you still didn't. Dude, you can't use the cat. You got to remove him. That's what we were talking about. That was the first thing. We remove the kid and then we choose a new cat. Well, not a new cat, but a new character. <laughs> new sprite. So do that for me real quick, uh, David. Um, let's go over here to, let's see, Angel. No, I'm logging into your kit. So, Angel, I want you to go to page 78. What's the first piece of code we need to get this started? So at the top of the page, it tells you the first piece of code. What color is it? Okay, hand up. Go ahead. Yellow. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Carmelo took it. <laughs> he took the points. He looks too slow on the draw. So everybody, grab a yellow block. Angel, you can get your points back. Just show me how you would get the yellow block onto your screen. <laughs> I tried to tell y'all this is super easy, but y'all, it's hard. For ages, man, it's hard. Okay, very good. And he picked the correct one. Great job, Angel. Did everybody get this first piece of code? Yeah. All right, go to the next piece. What do they tell you you need now? You need a blue block. Very good. And what is that block called? Once you click on the blue category, it's motion, right? That's not purple. It's blue, right? Why are you going all the way down there? Motion. OK, hold on. Oh, you know what it says? You have no stage selected. So you need to set your state, your backdrop up. So I'll make it easy. Go to stage. Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You, like you're all over the place. So in your, in your backdrops, because you didn't you didn't fill it with nothing. That's what it's saying. So we're gonna make it easy for you guys. Just choose a different backdrop. Okay? So choose something real quick, Andrew. You can keep yours. Do you still get the motion blocks though? <laughs> that means you didn't fill the whole backdrop. So just choose just choose a different backdrop. Now look, now you're messing it all up. Um, you're fine now. Go back to code. Oh, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, you figure it out later. Go. We got a program though. Uh -uh, go go scroll up to code. There you, there you go. You can angle it. All right, now. Hey, what happened to your stuff? Go to motion. Lord, why isn't it letting you do that? It says no stage is selected. The stage is selected. If you got a stage, is it letting you move? Oh, we on stage two. He got two backdrops. That's what the issue is. All right, so let me help him out. Let's get rid of this and that. And now what happened? How you get what? It says no motion blocks. Wow. Is the stage is selected. I think it's a glitch. So let's start over with you, dude. Choose backdrop. No, no, no. But you should be able to grab the motion blocks. I think when he removed it, he oh, it's it's back. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> you guys got a little patience. So look. So here, we got choose backdrop. I think your scratch three might need to be reloaded because it should let you convert to bitmap. How about that? Nope. So what happened to our motion blocks? All right. So I'm going to start it over for you, dude. Okay. Now let's see if we got motion blocks. We do now. 
All right. So with that said, let's see if this is the issue. We're going to remove this. And you had who again? So you had Anna Dance, I think, right? I'm going to go to this and then choose the backdrop. I think it was just a glitch on their part. Yeah, it was just a glitch, guys. Okay? <laughs> Y'all be panicking for nothing. So all your motion blocks are there. Go ahead and do it again, um, Angel. Uh, choose what was the first block was what? And you got to tell it where to go, though. You're not done. It's not space bar. It's okay. So, Angel, you see where you got to change it at? No, not there. Uh, not there. Here. And you're going for left arrow. All right. Finish it up. What's next? No, he's right. They go turn 15 degrees. Good. Now you need another one, right? Very good. You're getting the hang of it. See, I told you guys this stuff, stuff is not hard. You got to take your time and do it. Okay, so you know what to do. I want you guys to do, put all the blocks in place. You got to go from 78 all the way to what page? Let's see here. You got a lot of blocks to program. Y'all are killing me with that angle lot of you stuff. 85. What you going to lie, not lie about? We used to do this uh -huh. in eighth grade. In eighth grade. And now. But listen, listen. Way different from this. <laughs> All right. We used to own. Yeah, but this is leading you to, you know, more advanced projects. Okay, so look, it is 944. I want to review the objective and uh, check on everybody. I think Jalen left. What happened to him? That's that Wi-Fi. That's that excuse. Uh, <laughs> that's that excuse y'all use on me. All right. So look, uh, let's review the objective real quick. Everybody, let's stay on track. I'm gonna have to follow up with Stucky later to see what happened and why he disappeared. Somebody put Jumpman on his screen. I don't know why. I think that was David's. You you had like somebody shooting a basketball shot on yours. He said no. Let's see here. I didn't mind. <laughs> he said no, though. So it is yours. <laughs> Y'all be forgetting I can log into these computers. That's the reason why I use them. So, all right, I need you to get caught up because I can see that you're just playing around on the screen, okay? You need a backdrop and you got to catch up on the coding. And this is, this right now you're doing artwork and you're not programming the rest of it. You said you're almost done, Angel? Let's take a look. I don't, I don't think you're finessing me. Hold on. All right. Uh, no, you're getting these blocks done. Okay. All right. So let's follow the steps. Remember, in technology, there's steps. There's a process. If you skip a step, you're going to have a problem. Okay? So, um, say what? You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll finish all the steps. Let's review our objective real quick. Yes, sir. B and C. B and C? Yeah. It's like a private network. As long as they're on the guest uh, network, I can log in. That's what I was trying to promote using them. You can log into all the kits. <laughs> well, we didn't have GoGuardian, so I had to figure out a way. This is really helping him, so I keep tabs on him. Um, no, not a problem. Uh, so objective, everybody. Let's review that real quick. And remember, the objective exit slip is already in the chat. If you need it again, I can give it to you. Uh, you just type in the word of the day, classroom terminating an objective. So uh, let me go here so you guys can see that. And we're going to present now. OK. So I would like, uh, Angel, you haven't had a chance to read. Can you come up? Well, you have had a chance, but I want to, you know, I don't want to bother you because you're getting so much done. Mykia, are you with us still? Oh, you, who said that? Who, oh, Carmelo? I think Dave said it. Let Dave do it. Did you call me? Oh, I did call you, my kid, but I'm going to let Dave read it. You just keep on working, my kid. Did you, you get, how far along with the project are you? Did you make some progress, my kid, with the project? You having issues? I'm done with it. I'm just changing her clothes. You always done with it. Ugh. <laughs> You're no fun. All right, go ahead, Dave. I'm going to mute myself. I want you to read our objective and everything. Everybody, pay attention to the fact this is what goes in your exit slip. Students will be able to unite the official Raspberry Pi beginners. Guys, 
to be able to successfully demonstrate project to synchronize swimmer via the Raspberry Pi 400 kit. Classroom terminal data day synchronization. What are the days? At Tagna. Oh, mute yourself, man. Uh, Mike here, are you done with the uh, exit slip as well? And David, what was you saying? You can just say it to me, I'm right here. <laughs> what, what was your question? I was muted? Yes. Oh, you can hear me now though, right? Yes. All right, thank you, sir. All right, so like I said, uh, what about seven minutes? Review the objective one more time okay. and also use this time to get done with the exit slip. What's going on, Carmelo? Oh, you want to get done with the exit slip? The exit slip? Hey, where's that? No, Where? The exit slip is in the chat. Oh, yeah. you got to restart it like I did. You gotta restart it because what I happened? Also, oh, you got you you got the block codes now. Yeah, you okay? Okay, just hold on. I was just seeing if I got switched to back. You could change it again, but uh, you know, hey, it's on you. Um, so look, you knock on the exit slip. That's the easiest part of today, guys. You, everybody got that link to to download the link and download the exit slip template. No. All right, I'm gonna put it in the chat one more time. Uh, okay. Oh, Angel, you need a different way. I'm gonna put it in Esby for you. Okay, so go to Esby. You get his SV message, but you still got to reset that password for your email because you need to get in the Google Classroom, sir. Oh, so let's do this. And uh, Angel. Yeah. You said what, sir? Angel, there you go. Check your SV message. Wait, we don't have to write the definition on No, you got to put the definition there. You got to look at the definition of synchronization and the definition of antagonize. All right. Put that in your exit slip. Now, remember, everybody, you got to download this exit slip to your computer so you can type it out. This uh, Raspberry Pi uh, assignment, you three, I'm going to have you, once we fix Angel's email address, email it to yourself, or you can take the file and put it in Edsby as a message to yourself, I found out, and open it up later. It's up to you how you guys want to do it, but make sure you save your work. So when you go home, you can get on your kit and finish it up. Um, when timer expires, we got to get ready for next period. And I got to find out why Jalen didn't come back. Um, yeah, my internet and stuff. Listen. Yes. You type your L attach three. What? Okay, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. I'm, give me a second. Okay, now when you type, go ahead. You know that's probably why your password don't work. Something's wrong with your keyboard layout. No, you probably changed something. <laughs> you be getting frustrated too fast. I'm just messing with you. Let me take a look, man. Woo, he be getting frustrated. <laughs> Learn to laugh a little bit, dude. Uh, keyboard layout. It's English. Mm -hmm. I'm almost down, Mike. You're almost down? Okay. Classroom term of the day. 
uh, was synchronization. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so you're having a pro pro problem typing in your, your name? <laughs> so why am I typing in? Oh, does it? <laughs> I see all your keyboard. I see what's happening. You're going to have to reboot your uh, computer to do it. So do it on a, um, here, uh, try to do it. This way. The objective. Give me a second. I gotta help him out. We're almost out of time. It's 9.55. Um, I'm going to come out of this. This is what he was working on. So to turn it in, make sure you turn it in the SV under that uh, assignment listing. Project 2, Synchronized Swimming. You're going to turn in the actual scratch file. Now, let's review the objective. Mikea, are you there? Yeah, I'm there. Hey, can you go ahead and read the screen for us? Students will be able to... Um... Utilize the official Raspberry Pi beginner's guide to be able to successfully demonstrate project yeah, members using synchronization via the Raspberry oh, Pi 400K. Plus, sometimes they is synchronization okay, from the real the PDF. Thank you, uh, Mikea. The next thing I'm going to have read is, and I found out what happened, Mr. Stuckey, that's why I was away from the computer, uh, is our townhouse information. And let's see if we can get. Uh, David to read it for five points. Uh, one second, Carmelo, let me help you out. Uh, all right, so uh, David, do you see the chat? I want you to read where it says townhouse all the way down. Townhouse. My bad, go ahead. Townhouse and GGI is mandatory for all students, like skills, class. Also, there are times. Opportunity that student can take advantage of. Log, log in today and gain some extra credit for participate. See you there. See you there. Eleven fifteen and eleven forty five. Let's code. 
is later on today. Zen. Okay, so this is technically the end of class. You guys are free to go. Uh, see you tomorrow. Turn in all parts, exit slip and the scratch file by 8 p.m. tonight into SV, okay? That's it. I'm about to come over to you, man. Okay, okay you said how do we save what? Oh, I'll, figure, I'll fix this way. So... I'm gonna, I wanna send this to you. Why I keep jumping up? Well, I'm getting a notification on my phone. On your phone? Yeah. Okay. Angel, don't worry about it until later on today. I gotta fix that. Just leave that up and I'll take care of it, okay? You had a long day today. What do you mean? You just got here. All right, you guys gotta get ready for the next period. Where y'all going? I gotta figure out where y'all going. I'm going to I don't know. I do I don't I don't know. I I do I I I I I I I I I I I Huh? Oh, me, the first period of the day. It's the fast. Uh, it's the first and second. Fast. <laughs> it's not like Spanish. 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 It's not like Oh. oh, yeah, I was supposed to say this. Oh, there you are. Huh? We're going to come back to that, and we're going to look at the air. You guys will be here tomorrow, right? So you never set your password, though, because you're not going to be able to go to any of those classes. No, I'm just going to go to the class.